Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about AirServer and how to configure it so you get uh, more bang for your buck in the classroom. So, uh, if you don't know if you're running AirServer already, uh, you would uh, either search, now I'm running Windows 10, so it might look a little different on your Windows 7 machine, but uh, you would find it, click on it, open it up. If you can't find it, uh, type it in. Uh, and once you do, you open it up. I'm already running it, and so we're going to go into my system tray, and click on my uh, little hidden icon button and click on air server go to settings right away I get some information as far as you know what my computer name is uh, rebroadcast automatically I've got airplane enabled and I've got Google cast enabled so which actually is going to be another video on how to set up uh, this for your Chromebooks in your classroom which you can actually broadcast uh, student Chromebooks to your device so uh, in here the big thing that I want to uh, stress enough is sometimes, uh, especially older kids, they get a little wily, and if they see that they can connect to a teacher's uh, desktop, they will and just you know project anything they want to. So to uh, get away from that, we're going to click on Change Password. And how do you want to apply the password settings? We're going to go into Just My User Account, and there's a fixed password which, if the kids get a hold of, then it doesn't really do any good. There's the ask me. Uh, I really like the on-screen passcode. It generates a random passcode that only you can see. Uh, you have to be watching the uh, projector uh, on the screen to see that. So if I set that, it automatically gives me a code. I punch it in, and then I'm projecting on there. So great feature. Audio, you can set up to where uh, you've got, if you're having audio issues, you can kind of tweak some of those settings in here. Likewise, you can set up your uh, display in here. Uh, you don't really need to display frame rate. Mirroring, so optimize for, let's say I just want like, you know, high def, which is plenty good for what you're doing. Uh, you can optimize for a slow network if you're having some issues, Google Class low latency, which is already turned on, and that's more for your Chromebooks. And so post-processing, I mean, if it's blurry, you can help sharpen it up, help some of these features as well check for updates, you don't really need to do that, um, and you don't really need to do any of the diagnostic stuff. So, like I said, the biggest thing uh, that I wanted to stress is the uh, password setting for this, and uh, look for a sh another short video on how to set up a Chromebook to broadcast to your computer. So, thanks for watching. As always, if you like this content, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, look for more videos in the future. Thanks.